Carla, Tim, my subscribers, goes to. This is for you especially. Did you have my older brother call me? I think you did. I think you did this on purpose. I think you knew it was going to make me mental. I think so. Uh, so my brother, Ed, who I love more than life itself, trust me. But like I said before, grew up in Chicago, developed a Southern accent, and is a Trump supporter now. Now, whatever, I'm not bringing politics into it. I'm just saying, I don't know how you start talking like this when you were here till you're about 13 years old, but that's okay because that's just me. And, you know, he has a lot of witty witticisms, you know, like he'll call me when he's on one of his long haul. I mean, he works hard. I'll give him that. He's constantly trucking. He'll call me once in a while with random thoughts about things, you know, like that. Well, they don't want to tell you this, but the reason they're saying all this uh, global warming's going on is because Biden and the government are making clouds. That was actually said to me once. I swear to God. That was actually said to me. I think that's the last video I did on it. But, oh, was there a doozy tonight? So I thought I should share. I had two missed calls from him, which never happens. I might have one missed call and leave a message. You know, say, hey, hey, call me back. And stop that fucking shit where you pretend there's static online whenever I call. I know that you're doing it on purpose. I finally figured it out after 49 years of my fucking life, you little son of a bitch. Just call me back. <laughs> And stop answering the phone saying, El no speako English, yo. All right, that's not real Spanish, all right? I'm an American. I know Spanish. So, <laughs> he's like, I had two missed calls from him. So, I did kind of was like, I kind of like rushed to the phone because I'm like, maybe something's wrong. You know, maybe something really, as much as I like to tease, I care about the guy. I love him. So, I'm like, oh, shit, I hope there's not so wrong. I call him up, and as soon as I do, one thing I'll say about him is he's never really angry. Like, I, I don't hear him angry a lot. Like, he takes a lot in stride. He has a lot of shit happen to him. But just, he's, I don't, he's harmless, really. But, uh, he's a fucking whore. Especially back in the day. Oh, my God, he slung his dick around the whole fucking, I think he fucked every woman, you know, <laughs> Nassau County. I don't know, everywhere. But whatever, so that's, I call him up. And right away, he yells. Like, when, you know, he, has a, he goes, well, hell, what's going on? And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like, hey, it's Jay. What, what's wrong with you? What's wrong? Oh, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Between the fucking the crazy bitch breaking in, these motherfuckers trying to take my fucking pension from me like that's going to happen. Because I swear to God it ain't. I'm going to go all shit in the floor. I'll shit in the copier. I'll shit everywhere. I'll fucking run the truck off a cliff. I, with me in it, I don't give a shit anymore. I'm starting to fucking lose it. I'm like starting to. So he's going, he starts that shit right away. Wait, 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 back up. What happened now? And he proceeds to tell me the following story. Him and his wife uh, had inherited a small house that her father used to live in. And he, when they inherited it, it was a little dilapidated, you know, not too much. But I will say that my older brother is really, really good at fixing things. I mean, like, he, if, if your car breaks down and it's on fire, I don't know how he does it, but he can, yeah, well, that's no problem. See, I'll just, you know, put fire out, repaint that son of a bitch real fast. Something I got over at AutoZone. Can you go over there and get me a 1240WXYZ uh, bracket that goes on the side of the Pinterest that needs to be there because, uh, why am I asking the city asshole for you? No, no shit. Go get you a latte. Get you a latte and sit there and write your new play. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, he rehabbed the house. So, you know, he's always busy, always on the road. So he has realtors, hired a realtor to show it around. A realty office. So it's several realtors were showing this place around, I guess. And I guess one of the neighbors from that area finally called up and said, you know what? There's a window broken over at that house that you, you're fixing up. And, you know, he decked it out, you know, new bathrooms, everything like that. So I go over there, all right? And I'm like, well, they say there was a window broken out. I figure it was some fucking bratty kids like me when I was growing up. Remember that one time mom went to go pick me up at that Bee Gees concert? I was high as fuck. I never told her that, but I was fucking smoking a doobie like you wouldn't fucking believe. Yes, they did call it a doobie. You shut the fuck, stop laughing at me. Anyway, I go over there. I see her fucking car in the driveway. 
bunch of shit on the porch. I'm like, what in the hell is going on here? But they ain't got no fucking drapes. I go up to the front door, fucker's locked. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Because you know it's got one of them realtor padlocks on there, and I know the digits of that motherfucker. So I'll knock on the door, and this fucking bitch answers the fucking door, saying, what you doing pounding on my door? I said, bitch, what you doing living in my fucking house? Get the fuck out. And she's like, well, I bought this house. I said, well, that's fucking hilarious, bitch. <laughs> it ain't for sale yet. I just had people started showing it, and I ain't getting no contract or no money. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And she goes to me. She bought it through cryptocurrency. I'm like, well, you're an idiot retarded bitch. Because anybody who buys anything through cryptocurrency, did you get a lease? And she's like, well, they're going to send me one. I said, well, Hajib over in India over there who just ripped you off from fucking Bitcoin or whatever it is, didn't tell you that you're shit out of fucking luck, whore. Get out of the house. <laughs> so she starts arguing with me. And then she says, well, I say, I'm calling the fucking law on you. I'm calling the law. And she's like, well, maybe we can work this out between us, you know, because she's uh." She was half breed, you know. She half white, half black, and they were the best kind. Of, they're really hot. I'm not gonna lie about that. And she had some titties. She had titties for hundreds and hundreds of miles. I'm telling you, they're bouncing. But she wasn't that good looking. I said, no. I'm gonna say there ain't nothing to work out. I said, Bob, you get your shit, get the fuck out of here. She goes, well, I got a lease. I said, well, tough shit, bitch. Wipe your ass with it. Use it as a tampon. I don't care what you do with it. So the bitch goes and says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sue for this. I'm gonna, I said, go ahead. I'll see you at Judge Judy's house, you fucking dumb shit. And she leaves. That bitch gets in her pickup and tries to run me over. I said, well, you fucked up now. She couldn't drive either. So she backs up into the wrong lane of traffic. I went over there. I kicked the shit out of her car. I sure as shit did with her stupid, stupid dumbass in it. And then she starts going, I'm going to call the law. I said, well, call them. Then I, the law finally shows up. She speeds off. I find out why she wanted to sell things without the law. The bitch got a fucking warrant. And it's not even a warrant yet. The signboard's one she actually has to go to jail for. I can know the difference between a sign for a warrant and uh, whatever. He's like, so she gets her ass out of there. As soon as the police come, police are like, there ain't much we can do. They're like, you know, she may have squatter's rights. I said, she, go, she can squat and take a shit, but she ain't got no fucking squatter's rights. I'll tell you that shit right about now. I said, I'll set the house on fire with her in it. She'll be a Christmas son of a bitch messing with my ass. I'm telling you right now, I'll toast her over an open fire with her fat ass. <laughs> he was on fire. I'll give him that. So I was like, so what are you going to do? He's like, what the hell do you mean what I'm going to do? He's like, well, she went to Nassau County Jail. And she, let me get up the county. I forgot what the county is. She went to Nassau County Jail, but she got out on bond or something. Somebody dumb enough to bail her ass out. Just guess what? On top of that, they wanted to bring her back because she ain't got a fucking driver's license. How is this girl here and with the police right by me? And you ain't motherfuckers know she got drive. I can't drive two blocks with one Budweiser, but you pull me the fuck over. But fucking, you know, crazy fucking monster bitch over here gets to drive around with fucking no license. Dude. How does that make sense to everybody? Ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is why I started smoking again and drinking again. I don't think it is, but we'll go with it. <laughs> so I'm like, did you get your house back? What? You're, I hear an angry rant. He's like, yeah, goddamn right. I got my fucking house back. He's like, I put all her stuff out there, but the law is trying to tell me I can't do anything with her stuff. Well, guess what? Late tonight, I'm going with my son, and her stuff's going to disappear and end up on fire somewhere. Going to my sister. She can keep whatever she wants. The rest, I said, you put on the fucking burn pile. I don't want to see anything. Like it's the Sopranos. Like it's a body or something like that. Like, But now I got to worry the crazy bitch going to come back because nobody knows where the hell she is. She might throw a rock through the window or she might take a shit and throw that through the window. Who the hell knows anymore? Now and then I'm going to go yell at one. I think it's one of them realtor motherfuckers because how did they know the house was, you know, the, they had to know the code of the thing. The bitch knew the code of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> to the little realtor thing. It was like, I think it's one of them. I got 80,000 people showing there. There's one fucking house. Jesus Christ, what the hell am I going to do? <laughs> I've never heard him that mad in my entire life. And it made me smile. I'm not going to lie. 
I'm not gonna lie. It, it, it definitely made me smile. So he it ended the call ended with him going like, I just pulled up, my son's coming out, I gotta go call you tomorrow. There might be a part two. I'll have to take Advil and some morphine before I call him back. <laughs> so I can process and deal with whatever's gonna come next. Oh my god. Only for you guys.